Hey everyone, Tristan. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So please make sure that you share the videos with your friends, subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that notification bell. And thank you for making this possible. I didn't hear what you said when you drove by. Oh, I'm, uh, I was uh, meaning if you guys could be on that side. Okay. It's a little bit dangerous around here. Okay. Because I cannot see on this hood. Okay. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you kinda gotta stop and, and tell them. Yeah, that or just come up to me and ask me, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, all I heard was walk now is you yelling. I'm like, what the hell, the hell's he yelling at, all right? Yeah. All right? All right. All right. All right.
but my neighbor was. Take it from here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in another video. Enjoy the video. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hello, guys. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about road rage incidents that I've happened in Virginia Beach. So, I have um, been a, um, I have seen a lot of fair share of ridiculous drivers in Virginia Beach. Now I want to share those stories with you. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and watch it right after this. Watch it! Talk about it! Okay, so let me start off from the very beginning of all of these. So I moved into that neighborhood in 2014. And I have lived in that neighborhood for seven years. And I have had a significant numbers of close calls. Now I'm not talking just about 
stupid kids walking in the right, in the street or stupid kids on a bike. I'm talking about getting having these close calls with cars. So we're gonna talk about all that. So stay tuned. So, here is where, here comes the very first road rage incident that I get into that I want to share with you today. So, this was in, I think it was maybe 2017, something like that, I believe it was around 2017, and, um, and I was riding my bike, and it was in October 2017, I was riding my bike, or, or, or was it 2017? I think it was 2017. Anyway, so I was riding my bike, and some idiot decides he is going to try and cheat me, take my turn at a four-way stop in the neighborhood. I'll be thinking, why? Well, you guess as good as mine. So, let me, so let's set this up. So I am at the stop zone. I'm gonna go right. This, there is a GMC Sierra right when I get there that's turning. And I go ahead and I start, and I turn. All of a sudden this guy, and I didn't see him at the time, is in the middle of the intersection and toots his piece of crap horn at me. And, and he's in a little tiny little Mazda 6, hat, Mazda 6 hatchback and a really old one at that. And I go and throw my hands up at him. And, and he goes and points a big, Big finger right at the stop sign. I'm like, and so I just keep wailing my, throwing my hands up at him and everything. And he, and, and there's a down tree on the other side of the street. So he gets behind me and he's telling me, I go and I go and lay on my piece of crap horn that I had at the time. And I'm wailing my hands and everything. So then what happened is, um, is he goes and and he goes and he pulls up next to me, passing me, 50 miles an hour. He goes and says, You had a stop sign back there. And I'm like, and I said, You effing idiot. And that's what all that happened. I was so mad because this guy is going to make a big deal out of nothing that's really not that important. And it's just ridiculous. So I'm like, you know what? This guy wants to yell and, you know, fuss at me because I had, because apparently I must not have stopped at the stop sign, which I clearly did. I clearly stopped at the stop sign. And he's going to tell me I ran it. Yeah, you're the one that's, you're the one that ran it because if there is some way that's, if you're behind somebody and there's somebody over here at the stop sign already yelling, and you want to try to quickly stop them so you're not in front, you're the one that you're the one that's at fault, not me. I clearly stopped and I went. And he decides he's going to make a big deal out of it. So I called him an effing idiot. And I was ready to go. Because this is ridiculous. Why are you going to make a big deal out of it? And I mean, you know, is it because he doesn't want to be stuck behind a bicycle? Or is it because he doesn't want to be stuck behind, you know, or he just wants to be impatient. Either way, it could have been bad. So he really was an idiot, and he can just... Bye-bye. Now, there is this guy's father who... Now, there was this um, elderly man who is about maybe 80 years old, mid-80s, he had said, Well, you don't have the right of way. Well, how about you go and look up Virginia's Law About Cycles. It's in the handbook. And you're going to say, I don't have the right of way. Let's go and let's do this in real, in real time. Let's see what the right of way in the Midwest and East Coast are. West Virginia laws require bikers to stay to West. Okay, 
require bikers to stay the way as possible. Bikes moving in the same direction as traffic abide by the rules of the road. They cannot run stop signs or red lights, nor can they turn without using a hand signal. Bicycles are also allowed on sidewalks. So this old man is wrong. Now, if we look up Virginia, cyclist laws, what does it say? Cyclists must not ride between two lanes of traffic unless one is separate from the mandatory turn lane as first 21 bicycles can ride abreast all times on state and local roadways. So what does that tell you? That that elderly man is wrong because it says it says on the pamphlet that cyclists have the right place and they have to abide by the, by the laws. So this, so this old man was wrong. So, so just because someone says something doesn't mean that it's correct. Keep that in mind. Well then there was another word we didn't see. This was like kind of like a back and forth thing with this neighbor that lived in, whoa, I'm way out of focus, that lived in my old neighbor. And the neighbor I lived in for seven years, Virginia Beach neighbor. Um, this guy decides, this guy is, uh, and I actually know this guy's name, like a Mike Pizarro or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. Um, so this all started out from the middle of nowhere. So Andrew was riding in my old bike, which got stolen. Um, he was riding in my old bike. And he was riding down the street next to me. And you know, the street doesn't have any lines, no nothing. It's a simple, small, tiny little neighborhood street. Like anywhere else. Is. There's this guy in this Toyota Corolla, way at a stop sign, way ahead. And he goes and honks his horn and says something out the window. So I tell Andrew, get over in front of me. And, this, and I go and I look at the guy and I'm like, this guy got a problem? Yeah, it's a, you know, that just was stupid. So then, it didn't stop there. Um, there was another time when that same guy was in, it was the same guy in a different car. He was in his wife's Nissan Rogue, the older one. And um, he, uh, and there was this Nissan Sentra that was right behind him. And they were going to stop some of my guy. They are like right on my tail, and they're almost passing me. Like they're almost going on the other side of the street. But they are not at the stop sign, they're not exceeding the stop sign, they're not anywhere near where the stop sign is. Like, there's absolutely no reason for all that at all. Like, I'm at this, and he's and they're behind me, they're trying to get around me to go, and I'm kind of, you know, blocking them, but I don't want them to hit me from behind. So I'm like, you know, I'm like just sticking out a little bit, just about that much from the stop line, where you know, they have the stop sign, but there's a line that says where you're supposed to stop. It's the way Virginia does that. Okay, I'm, stick, I, I, I'm sticking out, but I'm not sticking out, I'm not sticking out that far that I am, I'm not sticking out, I'm not even focused, but not, I'm not sticking out that far from the stop sign. I'm not sticking out far. I'm not even in his way. I'm kind of on the edge on that curve, but I'm not actually in his way at all. He goes and honks the horn at me. And right, and right when his window passes, he goes and throws his hands up at me. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? So I go, turn, and I am glaring at him in his rear view window. And I'm like, glaring at him on my bike. And I'm like, he's glaring at him. He goes and, you know, he goes, and he's at the back of his car. And he's just standing there on his cell phone. And I go and pull up to him, right? I go pull up to him. And I'm just 
and I just slowly look at him and kind of glare at him as he's staying there. Like, you got something to say? Like, what's the problem here? Why did you honk at me when I was not even in your way? Okay? I mean, he, I mean, I wasn't even in his way. I mean, he could see that there was a car behind me and that they were trying to, they, they were trying to pass me or something. And they were trying to go around me and I was trying to not get hit by them. And he goes and honks at me and throws his hands up. Now, if he was, now, it could be that he was probably honk, honking at the central, but why? I mean, the central was just behind me, but they were kind of, they were like trying to get around me, but they were not at the stop sign. But I think that I think that the only logical thing that makes sense is him honking at me because I'm in his, because I'm sticking out and I'm kind of in his way, but I'm not really in his way. I mean, I wasn't even in the road at all. Just saying, you know. And this guy wants to fuss at me because I'm st sticking out just a little bit. So yeah, and um, and so. So, so then I go back home, I tell my mom about what happened, mom's like, Take the not do anything about it. And I go, and I go past his house, and I lay on my piece of crap horn, and I, and I yell, That's uncalled for! And that was the end of it. Well then, another time, he was in the Corolla, and his wife were going on the long way around. And he tries to deliberately run towards, like, try to run me off the road. And like, went for no reason at all. So I go and lay my piece of crap horn down. Well, his wife is in the passenger seat. And she's looking at me. And the dude's just like, this the whole time. I'm like, what is your problem, dude? What is your problem? So I told my mom about what happened. And she's like, you know, if he does it again, then we'll have to go and talk to the board. And say, hey. There's a guy who is, for whatever reason, has problems with my son because, you know, because of because of something that happened or something, I don't even know. And I mean, they didn't have to come to that. I mean, they could have just, you know, not have, you know, but, but, but the very last time, it was becoming apparent that this guy hates me because I'm a cyclist and he's going to try to deliberately try to ruin my day because he doesn't like that's pretty much what his angle is. And actually, there was a Facebook post, you know, about the thing boys or something that was harassing me. That's a whole story for another video. Um, he, um, he posted, um, he posted that was uncalled for because that were my exact words that I yelled past his house when he had did the whole road, when he had made a whole big deal out of nothing. And that was not the end of this type of phenomenon called stick out, stick out aggression. So when my mom and I were in Virginia Beach Oceanfront, we were at this uh, place, and there, and she was in her Jetta, and somebody had, uh, she was sticking out, the, she was sticking out the road a little bit, and this guy in a fairly new Ford and blew a horn at her and went. And, and I had a, and so we went back up and we went through my hand up at him and he's looking at me like he wants to get out of that truck and make a big scene, which thankfully he didn't. He knew he, he knew it wasn't worth his time. <laughs> and yeah, so he went and pulled away. Anyway, so going on into um, that's, so anyway, so that same day that the very first road rage incident happened that day, there was this, there was a, there was this lady who ran a four-way, ran a stop sign in, and I had, a uh, and she, and I, when I was going, I mean, it's, it's a crazy, messed up system, like, with people not stopping, I mean, like, one at that stop sign. Like there was one person who almost ran it, and they had, because you know it's not like on a road where you know if someone's 
turning left, they have to yield to the other person on the side. That's when we stop, it's you more know, different than that. This lady tries to um, tries to almost hit me, and there was so this first okay. So the first lady was turning. The second one, the second one tried to tried to run this tried to go past me when I clearly had the right one. She was about right now to stop. So I go in and honk at her with my piece of crap horn. She um, she goes and pulls. She goes and and the other lady's thinking I'm honking at her. I'm not honking at her. I'm honking at the lady who obviously tried to who was about ready to run that stop sign. And, and then there was another guy who who um, who ran a stop sign at that same intersection right when I was going and I went and flipped them off and I went and flipped them off and he just continued going on because I mean he clearly just ran a stop sign he didn't even stop when I was right there it's just ridiculous so yeah so so yeah so don't be that kind of person and one time uh, and you know it's just it, it's just a mad it's just crazy with people running the stop signs at that, at that full way stop, you know. Because someone, so, someone could get hit if that happens, and you know, you know, and that's only just the bare minimum of the amount of road rage that had occurred due to other things as well. And then here we come along with the canine cop. So. I have made a whole video about the K9 cop, um, about everything that the K9 cop did, all the issues that we had, and everything. If you guys want to check it out, it's on the channel. Just look up K9 cop, bada bing, bada bing. Because this cop, um, over the course of seven years, I've had lots of run-ins with him. Not legal matter ways, but I'm saying problems with me riding my bike and issues that's occurred with kids running out from me. And, you know, like it like it was a whole thing. I mean like this cop has confirmed me three times in a row. Um in the last in like what, within three years, it's like every single year he yells at me for something. And he um just, you know, treated me like crap. So, that's why I'm like, you know what? It's all done. It's all over yet. And, you know, that's just what happened. And, yeah, so this cop has just confronted me multiple, multiple, multiple times. And there's a whole series about him. If you guys want to go check him out, you can just go check him out on the channel. Just look up K9 Cop. But yeah, and so, you know, it, it was pretty crazy. Alright, so there was this one time where I was almost rearing by a, by a blonde. So let me explain this story. So this was back when I had my old bike. Um, not the one I have now, but the old one that got stolen. That I gave to my sister-in-law who lost it, it was stolen. So anyway, so, he, so here's what happens. I'm riding my bike down the street, and I'm approaching that, that same intersection. Well, they stop. And there is this, there is this girl who's in this, this Honda Accord, and she goes and blindly pulls out without checking her mirrors, because if she checked her mirrors, she would have seen me. You know, and I be, and I think that she was probably maybe a high school friend of a high school that used to live there, of a high school that used to live there. Of a high school that that used to live there, and um, of a high school of a high school that used to live there, and. She had, um, she had, a uh, and she had, um, 
pulled out. And she um, wasn't paying attention. And she pulls out, and I go, and I go around her, and I stop at the stop sign. Well, then I had to, like, literally move forward because she was still not paying attention. And she almost rear me. And there was another guy at the stop sign who was mouthing off to me because I was going when he was going. I'm like, dude, I'm about to get rear-ended because the stupid girl behind me is not paying attention. Yeah, so, yeah, so, thankfully it didn't happen, but I knew that this girl was right on my tail because, because I could see that she was right behind me. And uh, she was getting really close. She got a hit. So, yeah. So that was pretty crazy. Well, then there was another story one time. So there was this parking. There was this little parking lot at the beginning of the at the beginning of the neighborhood. And there was this lady. Oh, not lady. There was this guy who. <laughs> was parking his truck and he was like a contract kind of thing and he was getting in his truck and and what happened was is I was turning around and and uh and this and this guy had um and this guy had um and this lady was in like a was in like a Honda fit or something and and I went and turned in front of her but she was stopping anyway because that truck was backing up. So I had said out loud, sorry bro. <laughs> and 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 um and I go and turn and um and I go and turn and um I go and turn around and I'm facing to go out. This guy this this car stops really close to this truck to where he can't get out. So he goes and pulls forward and loops around her. And he goes and looks at me and throws his hands up at me. And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you? You should be the one fussing at her. She's the one that's too close to you. And, I, and I'm just waiting for you to go. So why are you throwing your hands at me for? So I went and called him a penis face. Yeah, so, so yeah, so don't. So don't be that kind of person. You know. What was I going to do? Yeah, and so what was I going to do? There was nothing I could do. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? I mean, you should have just backed up and should have let and should have communicated with that woman to say, hey, move, so I can back up, rather than get angry at me because I'm sitting there waiting for you to go and waiting for the other lady to go so, so we can get out of this. And you ain't going to throw your hands at, that, hands at me. That makes no sense to me at all. No sense at all. So I went and had, um, you know, was like, all right, well, you know, this guy wants to, you know, and so that was something that had happened that was really stupid. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs>